it's Tim. And in this video, we're actually going to teach you something. I'm going to teach you how I created these graphics for AEW Full Gear. We used them for our, hey, these are the winner graphics on social media. And we also use these, as you see, for our thumbnail. I'm going to show you how to turn it into a match graphic. Let's jump into Photoshop and take a look. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to create a new project. Oop, not the right thing. And I'm going to go 1920. By 1080 because if I want to take this in and do video with it perfect size 1920 by 1080 so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the main background part is these clouds so I take these clouds I'm going to stick them it doesn't really matter how big I make them or how small I make them I'm going to throw them there then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in this photo of the city and I'm going to remove the sky from it we're just going to go select sky Oh, no, wrong one. Select sky. Let Photoshop do its thing. May take a second or so. Then I'm going to put a layer mask on it. I'm going to invert that layer mask. We have the sky here. And then I'm going to take it and throw it in here. It's way too big. So we're going to transform that down. And throw it right about there. Doesn't have to be precise. Doesn't have to be. It's just preference stuff right now we're just fiddling around we'll we'll do the what's it called we'll do the fine tuning here in a little bit then i'm going to take this photo because i don't want the water i don't want the water i want more city down there so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this photo i'm going to add a mask layer i'm going to get a gradient i'm just going to remove everything above the city itself it's a little too much uh let's do that. We're going to throw this into our main composition. I'm going to scale that down as well. Let's go. Again, we're just playing with it. I should make these all smart objects. It would be the smarter move to do. And then I'm going to fine tune this because I don't like how much of a fade there is. I want it more sharp. We're just going to on the wrong thing always make sure you're clicking your correct layer and let's just do that there or set that there now you may go oh your colors what's wrong with you you know it doesn't look all great well what we're gonna do is we're gonna go find a lookup table color look up and i'm gonna go in here So, add the sepia tone to the whole thing. I'm going to lower this down a little bit. And I want to give more contrast to this here. I'm going to make it a smart object. And I'm going to go into Lightroom settings. I'm just going to tweak it a little bit. So let's go brighten that there. Let's bring in some of the shadows. It'll let me grab. Why won't it let me grab? There it goes. We're bringing some of the shadows there. I'm also going to bring in, bring up a little bit of the highlights. Let's check that out and see how that looks. A lot better, a lot better. Then I'm actually going to add sky, the gears full gear you got to add gears so we're going to scale that up again all preference stuff and i only want the darkness of this like the, the lighter part so i want the darkness gone and i'm going to put that at like an 80 percent then i'm going to duplicate it and i'm going to move it up to like a mm, multiply put it at 50 percent I don't know why it's not working. Manually. 50% there. Oh, I turned my keypad off. That's what happened. We'll go 80% there. Then we're going to group them together. I'm going to put them in a overlay. Now one other thing I'm going to do. I want to throw this metal texture 
in. I might move it above the buildings, not 100% sure yet. No, I'm going to leave it under the buildings. And we're going to put that there. We're getting close. We're getting close to what we want. <clears throat> Next thing we're going to need to do, I'm going to add some fog. So I'm going to take this. And I'm going to flip it 180 degrees. So I want the fog coming from the bottom. And then we're going to do the same thing we did earlier with the layer masks to remove stuff. We're just going to play with it. Again, it's all preference. Might be what I want. Take this. We'll throw this in. I want it under. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. This is what I'm looking for. Now, another thing that I like to do just to give it a little more wrap around the whole thing, I go in here and I create a vignette. The 100 at black. Invert that, one, two, soft light. And I do a second one. It just gives different color variations to your edges. And I'm going to go 50% on that. I'm liking it, I'm liking it, I'm liking it. And the next thing I want to do is I want to get the full gear logo. Go over here. I'm going to grab that full gear logo. W. Full gear. Why can I not find the logo? There it is. We're going to open that logo up. I don't need the one that says review. I just need this one. We're going to throw this on here. Now, this is where things are going to get a little tricky. I want it behind. The buildings here, but I don't want the, the sepia tone color overlay to affect it the same way. What we're going to do is we're going to throw it on here. We are then going to put it in a group. I'm going to then take the outline of the buildings and put a mask on there. Invert that mask. Now we're behind. Now I can move it up and down, up and down, do whatever I want with it, but I want the color to not be as harsh. I'm going to move that there, and I'm going to make it so it only affects that. We're going to go, say, 80%. I also want the texture that we used. Do the same thing there, but I want it not the same orientation. We're going to move it 90 degrees. Bring it up a little bit, and I'm actually going to duplicate it. I want two of these on the gears. I'm going to make this one maybe 70%. Also going to add a shadow to the gears just to see it pop a little bit. We go do one then 20, and we're do another one at 30. No, we'll go 10 at 80 degrees or 80%. I mean, if you want, you can you could stop it there. You can also take the fog. Where's the fog layer? You can take the fog layer. You can rasterize that fog layer. Now, let me do it that way. We could do it this way. Or we could just smart object it. We could put that. Well, we could do it one of two different ways. We could do it like this. Where it affects everything, or we could throw it here where it's only affecting the gear, and then I'm going to bring that down to like fifty percent. So if you just wanted that, you could stop there. Like that could be your end game. But I'm not done there because I want more. I want to put wrestlers on this. You can, you can use this for just a, a simple thumbnail. Aw. Full gear. You can, you can stop it there. You can adjust, move this around. If you go, man, I want wrestlers on there too. Let's take a look at that. So I'm going to put all of this into one group. And I'm going to label it logo. So the logo is there. 
but I'm going to turn it off for now. We don't need these open anymore. We can always reopen them, go grab them later if we need them again. I'm going to save this logo open, and we're going to start taking our wrestlers. So I want, we're going to do Britt Baker versus Soraya. I'm going to unlink that there. I'm then going to use the Smart Select. I'll let Photoshop do its thing to select Dr. Britt Baker. Might take a moment. So it's trying to basically cut her out right now from everything else in the background. Photoshop does a great job, especially in the newest edition. Photoshop CC22. It's still got this little thing there, so we can just grab our lasso tool. Go around it. Paint it out. We're good. So I'm going to take Britt Baker. I'm going to throw her on here. It doesn't look right. That's fine. We'll color match her in a second. I'm going to drop her down about 90%. And then I want to go get Soraya. We're going to go grab Soraya. But what I need to do to help Photoshop is I'm going to grab Soraya. And I'm going to add a, a levels adjustment. And I'm going to brighten this up. Pop her off the background just a little bit. Now, Photoshop usually does a good job without me having to do this, but it's a, it, does, it does a little bit of a better job when I help separate the subject from the background a little more. So I'm going to go here, and I'm going to let Photoshop do its thing. <clears throat> it's going to take a second because she's her hair and stuff is more, you know, line with the background so then we can go in here and why did it just unselect well that's weird he selected itself so let's go back reselect it we're going to add a layer mask onto here and we need to paint some of her head back in basically so i'm just going to grab a paintbrush and with Wrong color there with white selected. We can just paint it back in. I'm going to make sure there is all that there. And we can just start painting her head back in. I can also grab the lasso tool. I know that would be a lot better. But I want, I kind of want it a little rougher. So I want to get rid of this right here. I want to take your colors back. Here, too much. I don't, I almost don't want it perfect. All right, and then we're gonna throw her. Well, actually, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the mask and put it on the non, you know, brightened one. I'll throw her on here as well. Match her to. Baker, I also want to put her up about 50% or 5% there. Let's go 70, maybe too much. Well, actually, let's go 80 and I'll match Brit to her head. Let's bring Brit down just a little. Actually, no, I want to bring Soraya down a little. Maybe by five. And. I think Baker's good there. So what we're going to do again, just like we did with the other one, with the logo, we're going to put this in a group. We're going to take the outline of the buildings. We're going to go there where they're going to take the sepia tone, color overlook, color look up. We're going to go there. But I only wanted to like 60%. Whoop. Not that. I want the color only at about 60%. I want some of their color to come in. Maybe 75. But not as much. We're also going to do the same thing with... We're going to add... That. We're going to go 90. This one, I'm not going to double it. I don't like the way it looks doubled. Um, go there, we're going to take the fog... We're gonna do the same thing we did here. Fog over them.
But then what I also want to do is I want to clean up Soraya a little bit. Now that they're here, we can then go in and refine Baker. I want to take a little, let's kind of see a little bit of a glow over here. You can just take your brush. Just paint it however you want it. The same with Soraya. Come in here. Just painting it a little bit. And then add their names. So we can go back in here. I already have this off of my the logo I made. So I could just literally take it. Drop it in. We're going to add that into the same folder. So it's going to be behind. And don't worry if you say, well, your stroke's really big. We'll fix that here in a second. Baker. Brit. I also want to go back to the logo. Get the same color for that orange. That would be for Baker. Now we're going to adjust our strokes. We're going to go in here to our layer styles. Just the stroke down to maybe 10, maybe a little bit more, 12. I like that. So we're going to go here, go here, and paste that one there. We're then going to move it over to fit like the style of the logo. Where it's like the one letter is over, just a little bit farther. I don't want it as angled but i still want it a little bit angled now as you see i can't see it here because some of the fog and everything we did there is intruding so or impeding it it's covering it up so i'm just going to put it in its own group then and we're going to go up here group it we're going to take that we're going to put that there and now we can play with it take a look up Maybe go 50 with it. I do want this on it. Go to like an overlay. Put it maybe at like a 45 degree. Mm, let's go 110. Let's play with our styles here because I want it covering everything. Let's see. Um, you know, I'm just going to hard light it and put it like a 50%. Mm, I'm not sure if I'm liking that. Because if we go soft light or overlay, as you see, you don't get any of the texture on the white. Put that at 100%. You're still not getting any texture on the white there, which is the problem. Now, if I put it above here, and then we... Got to play with it, to be honest. I mean, there's that, but then it's too hard. And then when I lower the opacity, like if we go here, and I lower the opacity like 40. Not exactly what I want, but maybe if I do this up to 70. It's not... It's just, it, I feel like there's something missing off of it. But we can also then take... We'll go with the orange one. And put that as Soraya. Need to move this over. Covering the whole thing. I just want to play around with some of this other fog on them.
let's do this and I will keep that like that. Then we're also going to take them and group them again. I'm just going to go there. I think it's too much fog. I'm going to lower the opacity on the fog to about a 40%. There we go. And then we're going to pull some of that away. Not all of it, but some of it. <clears throat> and I'm also going to take this text. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. I think it's just a little too big. There we go. Britt Baker. We're going to move this down here. We're then going to take our logo. We're going to bring our logo back in. That up to the top. Make it smaller. Just, I'm not liking the coloring I'm getting on the Soraya here, so we can go play with that as well. It's all angles and positions here, so let's put this back at a 90. Um, you know what I'm going to also do is I'm going to go the levels adjustment on that layer itself. If I can just play with it enough. Get me the colors that I want. Another thing I still need to do is I need to go in here and I need to add a drop shadow. Put that at maybe about a 10. Go 15. And with that, guys, that's it. You can always go back in here and reposition things if you want. Let's close down some of these. So we can see more here. Let's say we want this up a little higher we can always raise it up so we want a little lower we can always bring it down but if you bring these down here's your thing say you bring this up it's not going to affect it too too much it might a little bit bring it down then you got to know that you all your groups that have the same like cut out one two three need to be moved to match but with that, there we go. I can also take this into After Effects and animate it to where the logo and the text are popping in. I can take it where the, uh, both women like zoom in from the side. I would use different fog. I would use an actual animated moving fog for it. But with that, that is how I created my graphics for AEW Full Gear. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below on what you thought of this video, what you thought of my process creating these graphics. And if you want to see more videos, more behind the scenes stuff on how our processes work and how we do things right here. Have a good one, guys.